No, Taekwondo is not karate. Hi everyone, welcome back to another Scotty Karate video. Today we're going to go over a common thing that I ran into when I started looking for a new dojo as an adult, and something that you might be as well. That on today's episode of... First thing, we'll go over a little story that happened to me and what's kind of going on, and then maybe how it affects you. When I first moved to my area, I moved to states, completely different area, and I decided, hey, I want to take karate. I was already in karate, been in karate, and came to a new area. What's the first thing you would think to do? Well, I need to start training karate again. I need to get get back into dojo, because I was out for about a month and a half, two months tr during the move and getting settled and things taken care of at work. Not a big deal, but then it was time to get back into the dojo. So I did what most people did. I started looking around. Back then, Yellow Pages was still a thing. I don't care what you're doing. Come and get me. What the? What? Hey, man. You got a serious attitude problem. I know, it's been a while, but opened up the Yellow Pages, went through, found a couple of dojos, karate, right? Wrote down the number, gave them a call, hey, I'd like to come in, check out the place, see if I'm a good fit, yada. Great. Go in. One reason or another, didn't work out. But the most common thing that happened to me was I would walk in, and they'd all be in Taekwondo gis or uniforms. And I'd be like, well, what style do you teach here? And they'd say karate. And I'd go, okay, well, what style of karate? Just a sideline, just in case you don't know, for all my, my new people out there that you might not understand, that there are many different styles to all different types. So, for example, karate, under the karate banner, there's hundreds. You have Goju Ryu, Shorin Ryu, Ishin Ryu, Shudukan, like, it, tons. Taekwondo, all these things are different. Taekwondo is not a form of karate. You know, it's not like Goju Ryu and Taekwondo. It's not how it works. They're completely different styles. But you know when you ask, what style of karate do you teach? And they go, oh, I teach Goju Ryu. Okay, there's no question of what style they teach. Now, how they teach is completely different. Now, that's for another video. I've already done some other stuff. You'd like to check them out. But, when you go in and you see them in Taekwondo, you know, gear, and you say, what type of style do you teach? And they say, karate. And you say, what style of karate? And I would always get this. Either one of two. First one is karate. And I'm like, so your style of karate is karate. Okay. Which doesn't mean that it's anything other than karate. It could be, but it's either one, not karate, which is most likely what it is, or two, they don't know their own lineage, which means they don't know what style they're from, or, you know, which is not necessarily bad. I mean, there are a lot of great people out there that haven't had any formal training, more or less a training that goes all the way back to, you know, the ancient, ancient martial artists. But if you don't know what style it is, it's usually a good indicator that it's probably been watered down or it's not a great school. Sorry, if you're one of those schools, do some research. Find out what your lineage is. But the other one I got was, I was like, what type of karate nigga? Taekwondo. No. No. Sorry, Taekwondo is not karate. Karate is not Taekwondo. But it happens all the time. You drive in, big sign, karate. Or my favorite, traditional karate. And you're thinking, oh, you know, I'm going to get a more traditional experience of the martial arts. You know, traditional karate. Walk in, boom, taekwondo. It's frustrating. It's very frustrating. Now, for all my taekwondo practitioners out there, hold on. Don't get your pitchforks out. I'm not talking smack about Taekwondo. I'm talking smack about the people that advertise Taekwondo as karate. So there's a couple reasons for this. And one you might have heard, because I've heard it my whole life, and 
I understand why to a degree, but it's it's very annoying. And the one that you'll hear the most is it's Korean karate. In case you don't know, Taekwondo is a Korean-based martial art. So you'll hear Korean karate. Is it? Somewhat. I mean, yet again, with all these, the lineage of things gets a little shady, but at the end of the day, karate has had some major influences in it. Now, on that same note, Kung Fu has had a lot of major influences in karate, too. So we don't call karate Kung Fu because it has some lineage in Kung Fu. So it's weird to call Taekwondo the Korean karate. Just my personal opinion. Take it as you will. But because of that, that has stuck as just kind of like the norm, you know, just kind of a shorthand. Oh, it's Korean karate. Maybe it flows off the tongue a little bit. Korean karate. But it's not accurate into what you're wanting to do, right? Different principles, different mindset, different strategy, different continent, different language. <laughs> just a lot, a lot there that is not the same. Uniforms are different. Like, just, it's so much. So, when you look at a style, and you're wanting a specific style, say you're wanting, I'm picking on Goji Ryu today, you want Goji Ryu Karate. Finding Goji Ryu Karate when you have an instructor saying, I do Karate Karate, or Taekwondo Karate, you're not going to get what you're looking for. Just not. Sorry. I mean, and if that's your only option in your area, that sucks. But it is what it is. Maybe you can go and help them find their lineage and know what it is. But at the end of the day, it's very it's very hard to go into a new area trying to find karate because you're wanting to be a karate practitioner and be sold on Taekwondo. So you go in there, it's Taekwondo. Now, if you're wanting Taekwondo, I, this is a this, this is not. <sighs> It's, it, words are hard. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? It's a disservice to Taekwondo practitioners as well. Because I wanted to go in and find karate, and I found Taekwondo. Well, what does someone who's wanting Taekwondo do? I mean, they probably wouldn't even consider this school because it has karate across the door. Like, why on earth would they look in there? You know what I mean? So, I, I don't see how it helps, but it is what it is. It's one of those factors that's always bothered me. You don't see this with anything else. You don't go to a school and it says Taekwondo, and you go inside and it's, you know, Judo. You don't go into looking for a Kung Fu school. It says Kung Fu, and you walk in and it goes Capoeira. We do Capoeira here. It just doesn't happen. But for some reason, I have found the nest, hopefully it's just me, but I doubt it is, of you go into a place, karate, walk inside, taekwondo. It is what it is. But be on the lookout. So one of the main things that I like to tell new people, especially if you're new, and honestly, a lot of people that's been in martial arts for a while, because they don't know, right? It's just one of those things, if you don't know you don't know, how do you know you don't know? Yeah. So, you have to know that there are different styles. There are differences in, say, Taekwondo and Karate. And, uh, you got your Judy chop, all right? You got your Karate chop, and you got your Ninja chop. Because what you don't want to do... Cause I could be a Judy topping and a Kung Fu kicking, and there goes your leg. Well, these are just my thoughts. Hope you enjoy them. Hope it made some kind of sense. But if you are looking for a new dojo, make sure to ask their style and find out what kind of lineage they have. Because you might, inadvertently, sign up for something that you didn't want to sign up for. If you like the video, please hit like, comment, subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell on the way out so you know my videos are posted each week. And as always, the more you train, easier the fight. Mm -hmm.